Hello and welcome back to Vassini or almost in the vision range of Vassini but let's switch back into the game. So far I think we have made great progress so we control all we need to control. The only thing that worries me we already can see there is a huge counter attack coming so we need artillery support at Anor. Um, that's a given. We kind of want this airfield. There's very strong forces, tank forces, French tank forces here in the center. We need to take them out. We control more than enough in the south. So I think I will continue to shift forces to the north. But I want to be in control of those junctions just to delay any enemy counterattacks and control their ability to cross the rivers. That's basically the most important thing. And yet yeah, those three tanks and whatever in, in the background here, that, that is what really worries me. But those don't seem to be super aggressive. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. Now he scared me, <laughs> but it's fine. We might even want to reinforce all the a little bit, but we'll see. No enemy attacks in the air, at least. That's promising. He needs to go somehow. But at the same time, I want to get rid of this Renault. This is a perfect opportunity to... Well, one shot kill. Helmut Land is relentless. Pun intended. So, then let's see. We are not in range, but I want to get in range, obviously. So we'll try to suppress him down. Force him onto the river and hopefully destroy him by air attacks. But it's tricky because this swamp is blocking my artillery and now I can't... Yeah, they, they blocked off my infantry from, from attacking here. So short story is I don't know how to approach this the situation hasn't changed so I could escalate things a little bit The infantry should be rather safe on the hill. Well, that didn't do enough. Because they don't have any fast units here. The question is if he's on hold position or not. We'll see. First Let's eliminate the threat in our back. Of 
don't want to move any further because it's extremely likely there are more units in there. So I'm content just to take it. So I could push him onto the river. That's not an issue. But then it's not guaranteed that I will be able to destroy him. And I can't protect myself against the anti-tank cannon. So I'm not sure if I want to escalate things that much already. And the fuel situation here is miserable as well. So getting this airfield is so crucial, but at the same time, I don't dare to really go in. Because we are lacking information. On the other hand, that's why we didn't overthrank our Too bad, we can't destroy it. But it's good enough, we will be able to take it out. At the same time, we now need protection. So we might as well attack into there. At the same time, I really don't want to mess with him. But we can at least try to take down his overthrangs. Get more information in the process. Yeah. The overthrangs is gone at least. Then I think we go for it. Push him onto the river and hopefully take him out. Nope, no such luck. But that's one unit down. And if I lose the scout, so be it. I can't do much about it. Let's bank on being able to resupply here. He has a vision range of one, so that's not too dangerous we might be able to trap something around here i don't want to go near this thing take him out but we'll stay in cover and protect it. No use to risk anything.
I don't think I think I will it's it, it's simply too risky. I I want one tank to be able to deal with those lighter forces in the back. It, it, it's it's problematic to say the least. Keep them busy. Protect the Panzerjäger. And hi, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. I will just say Goche. I think that's about right. Please correct me if I'm completely wrong. I want to block the bridge and be able to get rid of this anti-tank cannon because it's absolutely a pain. At the same time, bolster my position and we need to take out those rail stations just to be able to get out of here quickly if need be. And yeah, no need to hold this. One strength point, that's fine. We might need it. This is a dicey situation. Good. The scout lives. He even did hold the ground because otherwise it would be even more critical because then this would be able to move up and destroy us. Whew. That's, that was a calculated risk and a huge gamble. But when now we have the airfield, I feel a lot more comfortable comfortable now. And he is already damaged, but it's very likely there's anti-aircraft fire somewhere around here. So let's not overcommit. Deny them vision. I should have a second level bomber somewhere. Ah, oh, here it is. Let's send in the level bomber to check out the situation. Okay, that's the headquarter. So, fully in sight now. Taking out the Samoa right now might actually be worth it. But the scout kind of has done his job. Let's move back. Let's secure the train station. Okay. 
Yeah, those two... This is a little bit worrisome. But we might be able to destroy, outright destroy this one. Let's... Force it into the swamp. Yeah, that's less damage than I would have liked to do, but still could be good enough. So, once again, go back to blocking the bridge. Having good vision now. Definitely want to still take out this city. There could be a counterattack here, so that's not the safe location. And I want the 88 to destroy Shiro's headquarter. And I'm already thinking about defensive positions for him. So we need to be able to keep the rail line open. And this is a kind of a slow unit, so I, yeah, there might be an immediate counterattack. So let's let's set up this way. Then we could block the bridge. That's always good. Another question is, do we want to move up? Not sure. Fight the trap. And reloading at the same time. And there's no anti aircraft cannon in the background. That's a huge relief. Trap something if possible. So that leaves us with the question of the Samoa can go five. One, two, three, four, five. So it can go here. But I think I'll rather. Yeah, we'll, we'll stay as is. Make them waste prestige. And it might be a good idea to protect myself here and be able to kill off the last Samu or no, not the last. There's one more. 
Three some movers have to die, but now our air force is ready. So I think it's working out. Let's end the turn. And they're getting more aggressive, so... Good timing. Bringing back the tank, I hope. Pioneers can be very useful as well. But for now, we need to take control over the situation here. Let's see. I wanted to push him on the river, but outright destroying him is good as well. Doing damage while we can. Trying to get the general to get the attention of the general. So let's not overextend here, but we need to secure the bridge. Our artillery is still not ready. Mobile artillery go. Block the entrance. supplies protect myself around here I think I will rather put forward my pioneers. Ah, that was stupid because this one has a lot of vision range, so we'll now have to get the fighter in here. Protect ourselves. And I think already start to prepare defense. So fight. Uh... One, two, three, four. That's a perfect trap. Maybe we don't take the city. Stay in here. Oladir has to hold out. Maybe the scout is good for some trap action back there. And I think the Panzer IV will leave here just to hold the airfield as long as possible in case of counterattacks. That's good enough. Let's stay. And let's hope it's not going to rain. It's raining, but... Yeah. OK, 
least we can resupply everything. And get ourselves in a position we know. I think there's a tank right here. Anti-tank cannon. So, in the rain. Attacking is not very smart. Now we'll get ready to focus everything. Hi, Thomas. No, I'm not using a, a custom equipment file. It's all standard. So everything stays in here. This blocks, this blocks. We are ready to jump Shiro, but we are a little bit ahead of time, I think. So we can actually take our time, make sure we are safe. help out to destroy those units, but we'll have to make sure we are safe. Good. Right in front of my big gun. That's what I like to see. So this Samoa is definitely toast. Yeah, we might still need it. Getting rid of the anti-tank cannon actually is the most important thing at the moment. Next priority is taking out the last of those Samoas. Then we are kind of ready to attack. We'll give mass attack bonus. unit down we don't need to take him on right now But now we can go back to try and trap them. That's absolutely enough to take them out next turn. I think we'll get ready to block them. Make sure the Stuka is protected. Make sure the artillery is protected. And then we are good to go. So, that's fine. We'll try to dig in as much as possible. Would have liked to get the city, but I think it's a little bit too risky at the moment. Yeah. Let's end the turn. And next turn, we should be able to take out Shiro. Or Shiro. Yep, 
Yeah, and Thomas is saying he found especially the air fights too easy in the game. Yeah, it depends. It really depends on the limitations you're giving yourself, I guess. We are not limited. Oh, Lieutenant Chuck and I are doing a historical let's play here. But we have not limited ourselves on the number of fighters, actually. So the question now is... Does this trigger the moment we attack here? Or destroy it? Or do we have to take the city? I think it specifically said... And occupy the city where it's located and capture the general. So destroying it... Hopefully it doesn't trigger anything, but I'm not prepared to trigger it right now. Yeah, true. We are, we are limited on the types of fighters. So later on, it will get a lot harder for us. So let's see. If we are actually able to push him back. Um, vision is again established here. I think that's very important. And without artillery support, I think I don't want to do anything. And I really hope that doesn't trigger it, because otherwise... We would be in a very bad situation. What I want to do now is... I think make sure nothing lurks in the immediate background. That would be kind of bad. Yeah, that looks good. That's good, we are protected. There's only an anti-tank cannon in the background. So this might be our opportunity to still get them. With enough firepower deployed, it should be possible. Once again, protect myself just in case something gets triggered here and then we're good to go again. But I don't want to delay much any longer because I don't know how long it will take to get Shiro back, but the plan is to immediately get him to the train station and then pull him out of here. So that's why I'm trying to keep the railway line open.
Alright, mass attack bonus. Don't want to go in there now. He didn't retreat. That's kind of unfortunate. But my artillery is almost set up. Ah, ha, ha, spotted something. Ah, and I think that's a freshly bought unit, actually. So that's not all that bad. We can bomb it down next turn. That's not an issue. And if they're re reinforcing there, I'm fine. Uh, that doesn't bother me too much. The real question is... Do we want to capture him now? I think yes, let's do it. Let's set up defenses. was rather unfortunate. But I don't think it will do much in the end, so they can't see us here. We'll protect ourselves. level bomb but just in case yeah I think that's fine let's go in and let's see what Shiro does and it seems they are triggering out of nowhere here True. A massive French counterattack is closing on your position. Air reconnaissance units have spotted French infantry and armor assets simultaneously approaching from the north, west, and south. You must organize your force. You must organize your forces to engage in a fighting withdrawal against these overwhelming enemy forces to buy enough time to extract General Chirot. So, and where is the general? Here he is, this is good. And they... It seems this spawned out of nowhere, actually. So we are... Kind of safe here. Let's see, he must die for sure. We have two fighters here. There must be one more right here. Perfect. Defense plus two. Plus two is always nice. Not sure if it's 
advice idea. I need more information. Seems good enough. And we are close to this airfield. Let's see. Those two we can't really destroy. The level bombers don't actually scare me that much. Drain its ammo. That's the thing I want to do here. Still unable to kill him off. That's very unfortunate because would be a very convenient spot to set up the defense. We know they are triggering here. Or we saw them moving actually. But getting one of the layers down Might be a good idea. This will relieve some pressure. Oh God, too much to do. Maybe rail transporting him out of here will take too much time. We'll try to block them off. And we don't need to hold here, so that's that's an important thing we need to consider. So just blocking the, the river crossings for the moment, I think, is good. We can get outflanked here, but there doesn't seem to be much in the background. They can't see us at the moment. So I think we'll take the scenic route, not trying to take the take them on by ear. But going in here simply might be too dangerous. So I think we'll start and try to build up a defense. How likely is it that he goes around here?
Um, one question to the chat. Does it stop once he's safe? Or do we have to hold out till the end? That really does make a difference. So here we are not actually that much in danger letting them attack into us I think might be a good thing but I'm not sure if there will be more fighters so It would be a good idea to, to attack here, but on the other hand, we can't defend ourselves properly. Getting the scout out of here, I think is good. But then the question is, do we take on the Hotchkiss or not? I think the risk is a little bit too big. I don't want to lose my Stuka. One, two, three, four, yeah, that's not dangerous. Question is, do we put the 88 here? That's a juicy target right there. And... Ah, there's too much forest. I think it should work out fine enough. And this is too exposed for my taste. There could be more bombers. This way we should safely be out of range of any big s tanks and... I think this was a scout, I don't remember, but it will have a very bad day if it runs into this one. If it's not a scout, we might have a very bad day. Let's end the turn. Perfect. Okay, where are you coming from? So now we need, really need to defend our drop zone. <laughs> That's imperative. Let's see, those two bombers need to die immediately. And now we kind of have to commit. He should be safe enough. That's blocking them from movement. Now I'm a little bit out of range, but...
This cavalry is scary. Not enough. That hit was very poor. We can easily defend here, so I don't see any issues. But we're pretty vulnerable. On so many fronts. So that's blocking them for sure. We just need to damage those. They won't have enough time to come back. So we won't bother with them. They're going to kind of block themselves here anyways, so... I'm not all too worried, but still... This cavalry unit can go far and I still need to hold... The city... That's kind of a problem. Still should be safe here. We could try to block the mirror. And I'm not sure, will the tank move first? Actually, no, I think the scout will move first. Do we en have enough to take the city back? I'm not sure about that. Do we rather hold? This will go into our flank and we need to protect here.
I think this way we should be safe. There's nothing coming our way. And here the question is, do I want to hold... But it's not actually a rail station, that's... No, it is. Ah, but it fired a shot, so it can't move. So what I'm worried about... This can go five. One, two, three, four, five. It will definitely go here. No way to stop it from doing that. At least the scout is down. <laughs> That's good. I think I will try to hold out here. The real issue is that there's still not no movement, so we are fine. No need to build a forward defense. The real issue is holding down there. Will all the deer be safe in here? That's the real question. I think it's good enough. And I think like that we are flexible enough. They can't go through us. I hope there are no more bombers. Hope is always the best way to build a strategy. We can give up this position. Yeah, let's end the turn. That's dicey. Oh god, he can't get out. Not good, <laughs> not good at all. He needs to die. Then we can try to defend here. They won't be quick enough to follow us here, so 
think we can put up a forward defense. He can go only three. Is this really true? Movement range of three, actually. But the scout might still be useful. Get the general out. Miserable. But we only need to block their movement. And I'm not sure. Um, I, I simply want to hold those because I'm not sure. We'll make sure to run them out of ammo. Do we want to kill the scout? I honestly don't think so. I think I'd much rather form a defensive line blocking them. But it's extremely tense right now. Let's get a bad idea what's going on here. Good. Luftwaffe is showing them what's up. Oh God, no. As long as they are on the river, I'm pretty safe, I think. But I think I still am safe if I'm staying in here, doing nothing. This position is good. And once those are unloaded, I think we can make something happen. Let's end the turn. I think they are too slow. I think we'll make it. So, he doesn't matter where he gets out, I guess. Well, is he out now or what? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I moved him. Yeah, he's on a drop zone A location. Then, let's see. 
Now we'll need to think and form the strongest defensive line ever. Here we can hold, that's not an issue. They are still out of range. Those big tanks are my main problem, so let's do something about that. Hmm. Don't think they can overwhelm me here, so don't care if they take any targets. So we'll just block the bridges here. That's a given. Then we'll bomb down one of their other strong tanks. Well, at least kind of. I want to know what's already moved in here. Nothing. So they can't tack tackle my artillery here. So I think I'm safe like this. Then the question is... He will go into the trenches. Ah, we could have done this a little bit more damage here. Ah, who cares? force them back, force them to do something. Another question is, do we move back or do we resupply? I will think about that. Depends on how much damage we can actually do. Then we'll need to prepare for the bombers once more. So them going through here doesn't matter anymore. He will be out next turn, then they have one more turn. And I think they're actually too slow. Let's see. How strong is this tank? Quite strong, so let's make sure to deal with him. Don't want to run out of ammo here in the last second, so... If we go here and here... No, they can't break through, so I think we can afford to resupply, move back, move forward. No, they will get stopped no matter what. Then we want protection around those units. We want protection around here. This they don't see at the moment and then we can still do some damage. Let's see, oh, I'm not too worried.
maybe getting rid of the scout finally. I should have reloaded while I could. That was a mistake, but I think that's good enough. Now the bombers will return, Shiro will get out. He will protect. Yeah, let's end the turn. Perfect. Attack plus one, yeah. And we did it. Perfect. Phew, that was intense, but I absolutely enjoyed this one. Great map, great mission. We did hold all our victory locations. Shiro is out of here. No losses taken. We did not take too much damage. We grabbed a lot of victory locations because we were quite aggressive. I like it. So thanks for watching. Whew. And yeah, see you on the next one. And looking forward to Lieutenant Joker's Let's Play. So, yeah, thanks for watching and maybe tomorrow I will be able to do more Munstein, but I'm not really sure if I'm prepared for Albert Canal already. But, yeah, great mission and whew, I was really sweating in the end. So, that's it. See you next time. Bye.